Measure him up. Don't have to. Six foot box will fit him. I got one in stock. Good, I'll send for it in half an hour. You got anything to say, Bailey? Any last words before we take you under the big oak? It's nice of you to bury me in a box, Taggart. I didn't expect that. Whatever else I'd say wouldn't matter. You'd hang me just the same. But remember, I didn't rustle any cattle. But I know what you're doing. You figure on getting control of this whole valley if you have to wipe out everybody to do it. Come on, Tiger. Let's get this necktie party over with. See why we always ride together. Look, Fuzzy, you ride into town and size things up. Get what information you can. You know, Lash, when Buffalo Bill and me used to ride together, we used to do the same thing. Now, I remember a time when we were riding through Dakota in the Badlands. Of course, we were buffalo hunting. We were on a pony, just like you and me is here now, when all of a sudden old Bill pulled up and he started to sniff. Started to what? Started to sniff. Why, that man could sniff a buffalo if it was 10 miles away. I know, I know, I, I, I know. I, I, Look, Fuzzy, you ride on into town alone. Well, what are you going to do? I'll stay around here a couple of hours, then I'll ride into town. Don't worry, I'll find you. Well, all right. I don't think he was any more guilty of rustling than you are. Yeah? What makes you think he wasn't? Well, Lance Target said that Sam Webb caught him rustling. And everybody knows that Webb is working for Tiger. Oh, here they come now. Come on, boys. The drinks are on me. Hey, uh, what's all the celebration about? Oh, Lance Tiger and his mob just lynched some poor fellow. Well, what'd he do? I don't think he did anything, but Tiger said he was caught brand running. I think he was a lawman. What makes you think so? Well, every time we send for a lawman, he gets dry gulched or hung. That sounds kind of serious to me. Can't you fellas do something about it? Well, I've done the only thing we can do now. I've sent for a young fellow by the name of Lash LaRue to help us bust this thing wide open. When do you think he'll get here? Well, he should be here sometime today. Any of you, uh, any of you fellas know this Lash LaRue? Well, no, only by reputation. But he'll make himself known when he does arrive. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of the time when I was riding with Buffalo Bill. Well, we were coming down a little town now, around the corner, to and when we come around the bend there, there's the funniest thing happened that I... Uh, uh, well, I said when he was coming around the bend, I... Some of the ranchers are getting plenty of sore at what's been going on. What do you mean? While you boys was busy taking care of that lawman, I found out that Kimberly sent for Lash LaRue. Well, he's the marshal that helped clean our tombstone. Yeah, and Kimberly says he's going to arrive here today. Well, he'll find out he's bucking up against the wrong crowd this time. We'll take care of him the way we did the rest. What do you want me to do? Take a couple of the boys and see that he don't get to Red Rock. Hey, Jeff, come here. <coughs>
got a match. No more riding for a while. Let's get out of here before we recognize.
Well, how'd you boys make out? Well, that's one more law, man, that won't be giving us any more trouble. Good. With Lash LaRue out of the way, it'll be clear sailing from now on. You have any trouble? Yeah, some just for Justin Black rode up and almost spoiled our play. We rode away and I don't think he recognized us. Well, you better hang around a while. If you want me, I'll be in the office. Please be careful, Danny. You know what a temper you have, and I don't want you to get hurt. Don't worry, sis. Nothing's going to happen. I left my guns back at the ranch, and Taggart won't start anything with an unarmed man. I hope you're right. Well, it's high time someone told Taggart off. He's just about chased all the ranchers off the range with his high and mighty water tariff. Yes. Bill Neff said that he and his family are going back to Kansas Saturday. Well, we're not going any place without a fight. You get the supplies, sis. I'll be all right. you just passed. He's going to the saloon. Would you mind telling him not to be too long? I'd be glad to. I tell you, I came here to see Lance Taggart. I'm without a gun, so there's no reason for a fight. What's the matter, kid? You're getting yellow. Maybe you should have sent your sister in. I'd like talking to her. You leave Mary out of this. My business is with Taggart. Suit yourself. But like I said, I think your sister get a lot further than you. Have your say, Jackson. But when the Arizona investigator arrives, he's gonna run you and Taggart out of this country. Why don't you go home? And next time you come back, make sure you're wearing a gun. Otherwise, send Mary in. I think I'm long overdue for an introduction. I'll make you wish you'd never said that. Hey, boys. Bill and the kids are gonna shoot a defenseless man. Somebody loan me a gun. Little boys who play with fire are liable to get burnt. Your sister's waiting for you outside. I think you better go. Thanks. Mister, I don't know who you are, but before I'm through with you, I'll make you wish that you had never interfered. Thanks, mister. Can I buy you a drink? Well, I don't mind if you do. Gosh, I thought those galoots got you until I heard one of them say that a fellow in black road up. They got a state investigator instead. That must be the fellow that young Denny was talking about before this gun trap play. His name was Bill Gunnison. What's it gonna be, boys? Oh, have a little ginger beer. Ginger beer? Mm -hmm. I never heard of it. Never heard of it? Why, that's the hottest drink this side of Death Valley. How about you? I'll have a nice cold glass of milk. I suppose you never heard of that either. Make it two. The first time might have been an accident. But bumping both of us looks mighty deliberate to me. Maybe it was. But around here, all men drink hard liquor. Is that right? Well, what's your idea of a man? I'll show you. <laughs> Thank you. 
drop this letter. My name is Lance Taggart. Made a pretty good showing for yourself. If there's anything I can do while you're in town, just call on me. Thanks. Uh, hey, uh, what did you say your name was? Uh, I didn't say, old timer. This man's a territory and land investigator from Arizona. His name is Bill Gunnison. Well, I thought your name Gunnison. was Gunnison. Bill Gunnison. You thought his name was what? Bill Gunnison. Hey, if you're from Arizona, you ought to know Buffalo Bill. They're the fellow that I used to ride herd with. Now, we used to go out and, and surround a lot of buffaloes, and we'd take little big buffaloes and put them on that side, and we'd take the little buffaloes and put them and, and, party you turned out to be. Didn't you know I wanted Taggart to think I was Bill Gunnison? Oh, uh, what do you think I am, a mind reader? Well, we meet again. Mary, this is the man I was telling you about. Thank you, Mr. Gunnison. Bill Gunnison. I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't been around to help Danny. Did you say your name was Gunnison? That's right. Well, you must be the man Uncle Dave said he was trying to get to come down here. Find a place to stay? Not yet. Uh, who'd want to stay in this dead man's town? Then you and your partner come out to the ranch. How would a nice baked ham, southern style, taste for dinner? Sounds mighty inviting. That sounds great to me. You know, I remember the time when Buffalo Bill and me were in Albuquerque, and I was so hungry that I ate a whole ham before Buffalo Bill told me that I was eating the hind leg of a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have your bag. Did you boys have enough to eat? I feel wonderful. You certainly are a good cook. Mm, and I'm as contented as an old cow tuner could. <laughs> now tell me, what about all this trouble you've been having with Taggart? Didn't Uncle Dave tell you about the tariff? Uh, he mentioned something about it. About three months ago, Lance Taggart fenced in Stone Canyon Springs. Now, in order to water our cattle, we've got to pay him a dollar a head. Well, uh, tell me, isn't there any other water around here? Well, Stone Canyon Springs supplied all the streams around here. There was plenty of water for all the ranchers. Until Taggart dammed the outlet up. And the only entrance to the springs is through Box Canyon. And that's on Taggart's property. So you have to go through Taggart's line in order to get your cattle to water? Well, no wonder all the little ranchers are heading back home. Well, just because Taggart's fenced in the springs, there's no sign we're licked. I've stood for just about all I'm going to stand from him. Suppose you do nothing about it for a couple of days. I have a hunch this whole thing will break by then. You mind if Fuzzy and I look around the ranch? Make yourself at home. Anything on the ranch is yours. Thanks. Fuzzy, let's take a ride before we turn in. Mary had a little lamb. She also had a little cat. And every time she went to town, she hollered, scat, scat, scat. <laughs> hey, Lash, we've been perched up here all night. What's the idea? I'm not quite sure, Fuzzy, but I kind of expected Taggart or his gunslingers to pay Mary and Danny a visit. Well, that Taggart, he, he's pretty smart. I guess he figures to make it so tough on the little ranchers that they'll have to sell out. That's right. He grabs the free range, and with the water tied up, Makes him the biggest cattleman in the country. Well, then he'd be a sort of a land dictator, wouldn't he? That's right. But like all dictators, he's bound to make a slip. I've got a hunch that Taggart's due for a big fall. Looks like the Phillips Ranch is gonna have some visitors. <laughs> Man, I wonder what they want. They're here for no good. That's right around the back. Find out what Taggart's got on his mind. Howdy, Danny. Good morning, Miss Mary. Doing a lot of your 
territory, aren't you, Taggart? I thought you'd be interested to know that we found around 300 head of your cattle at Stone Canyon Springs this morning. They probably drifted through Box Canyon last night. They didn't drift, they were herded. And I'm here to collect $300. We're not paying it. Our cattle are entitled to that water just as much as yours are. Miss Mary, I wish you wouldn't interfere. What's the matter, Danny? Still hiding behind your sister's skirts? Are you hinting that I'm yellow ace? No, I ain't hinting. I'm telling you straight from the shoulder. I don't think you'd fight if you was cornered. <laughs> Gunnison, I'm arresting you for the murder of Ace Talbot. Uh, but what authority you arrest anybody? You ain't the law. I think Fudge has got a point there, Taggart. I was under the impression that Red Rock didn't have a sheriff. Yeah, since you had the last one killed off. I'm afraid you're in for a little surprise, Gunnison. The kangaroo court appointed me acting sheriff until the next election. I'm giving you till midnight to give yourself up or I'll declare you outside of the law with a murder charge on your head. Just a minute. You better take him with you. Yeah, he don't help the scenery none. Jeff, give me a hand here. Danny, I haven't seen him since the trouble with Taggart this morning. I think he's rounding up a few strays. He ought to be back pretty soon. What are you going to do about Taggart? I've got a couple ideas. Well, don't forget, Taggart is hotter than a fresh Brandon iron. Yeah, I know, Fuzzy. But I have an idea he'll slip up someplace. I wonder what that was. I don't know, but I've got a hunch your brother's mixed up in it somewhere. Stay close to the ranch, Mary. Come on, Fuzzy. <laughs> That's right, Fuzzy. Let's ride. from Stone Canyon Springs, and we got that covered. It's Taggart and his gunman. They must have Danny hold up in Box Canyon. I figured that bull cat to be no good. Let's go down and get him. Not so fast, buddy. We'll cut across. We'll surprise him from behind. <laughs>
should fire, boys. I got an idea of how we can smoke him up. Sidewinders. Now, what's the idea, Taggart? Taggart here tried a little dry gulching. You got by with it, too, if you hadn't stepped in. What do you got to say? I was only trying to protect my own property. Yeah, this Jasper just blowed up the dam in Stone Canyon. Well, good. <laughs> Now you will be collecting a dollar a head for letting everybody's cattle get a drink of water. Just the same, I'm arresting Danny Phillips for trespassing and for the destruction of personal property. If I were you, I'd pack up and clear out of these parts, Taggart. People in Red Rock are sick and tired of the likes of you. All I got to say is if you three show up in Red Rock, it'll be just too bad. That murder charge on your head, Gunnison, still stands. All right, men, let's get our horses. We should have chased them rannies across the border when we had a chance. Not just yet, Fuzzy. Taggart hasn't had enough rope yet. When he does, he'll hang himself. Let's ride back to the ranch. You certainly took an awful chance blowing up that dam this afternoon. Well, I got sick and tired of paying the tariff on water rights to Taggart. Mary's right. Playing with dynamite is mighty dangerous business. Hey, speaking of dynamite, I remember one time when I was riding with Buffalo Bill, I met a fellow that left his wife in Kansas City. He went out to California looking for gold. And one day, he set up a charge of dynamite that blew him all the way back to Kansas City in his own backyard. <laughs> Mr. Jones. Glad to know you, Mr. Gunnison. Hey, just call me Fuzzy. How are you, Fuzzy? Try to talk in front of them. Well, Lance Taggart is holding a kangaroo court in his saloon tonight. Now, he aims to try both you and Danny without notifying you. Then he'll use his own jury to outlaw us and put a price on our head. Then every gunman he has working for him will have a legal right to shoot us on sight. Exactly. Did you say your name was Len Kimberly? Yeah, that's right. Why? I have something to talk to you about. I'll tell you on the way to town. Come on, we're riding to Red Rock.
This saloon has been declared a court of law. The court is now in session. Now, since the defendants, Bill Gunnison and Danny Phillips, didn't show up, I'm asking the jury for a verdict of guilty. Are there any questions? What charges you got against Danny Phillips? He always seemed to be a nice enough kid to me. Well, Danny Phillips is charged with killing U.S. Marshal Lash LaRue. And Gunnison is charged with gunning down an innocent man, Ace Talbot. Has the jury reached a verdict? We, the jury, find that both Danny Phillips and Bill Gunnison are guilty of first degree murder and should be brought to justice or shot on sight. I think I've got something to say about that. This is the court of law. What's the idea, Gunnison? I'm here to testify for Danny Phillips. Danny's already been found guilty. I know he didn't kill Lash LaRue. And how would you know? Because I'm Lash LaRue, and the man that was shot down was Bill Gunnison. You can't convict a man for killing himself, Taggart. He's lying, man. What about this, Lem? He's telling the truth. On the way here, he showed me a letter I wrote, asking him to come to Red Rock. Well, I still say you're guilty of the shooting of Ace Talbot. And that goes for Danny, too. Well, if this trial's so fair, then why weren't we notified? Are you hinting that something's wrong? No, it smells so bad the vultures are starting to hang around. Looks like a frame-up to me. The jury's verdict of guilty still stands. And if I were you, mister, I'd ride out fast while you can still ride. This whole thing is crooked, and I intend to prove it. You ain't gonna be around long enough to prove anything. I'm giving you till midnight to get out of town. You've got one hour left. I'll be looking for you. At midnight. Stop worrying, Taggart. If LaRue shows his face on the street, I'll fill him so full of holes that you can use him for a salt shaker. This town's too quiet to suit me. Yeah, it does look kind of dead. Bill, Dave, don't use that word. It gives me the jeebie-heebies.
is he, Fuzzy? Oh, Bullet Creek, he said. He'll be all right, but I don't think we can count on his guns anymore this evening. We've got to get that one on the hotel porch. Well, I know an old Indian trick. Danny, stand by with your gun. Might be a little risky. If we keep them Brahmins busy with hot lead, he might be able to make it. Here I go. Well, he made it all right. Yeah, and we better reload. be so close to you that it'll look like there's only one of us. tricks, aren't you, Jackson? I thought I told you to be out of town by 12 o'clock. 
I always keep my appointments. Yeah, and I always keep my word. This is your last appointment, Lash. After I finish you off, I've got a score to settle with that partner of yours. Well, you won't have to look far. Reach! Put his gun back in his holster, Fuzzy. Huh? Put in his holster? You heard me. This is a very personal appointment. And I wouldn't want to disappoint Mr. Jackson. I understand you've never been beaten on the draw. So anytime you feel lucky, go for it. Gee, for a moment there, you had me worried. How's Danny? Oh, he caught a slug in the arm, but he'll be all right. Hey, what about Taggart? I don't know. All the men we could arrest are now dead. But I've got an idea I think will work. Let's take care of Danny and Kimberly. I'll tell you all about it. Could you do me a favor? Maybe. What is it? Oh, nothing much. Uh, just give this letter to Tiger. It's from a friend of his. That whiskered old cougar brought this over to you. Said it was from a friend of yours.
trail for you, Taggart. You're going back to stand trial. And this time, there'll be no kangaroo court. I don't think you folks will have any more trouble with Lance Taggart. But you boys were certainly a great help to us in Red Rock. I don't know what might have happened if you and Fuzzy hadn't showed up. Well, I'm still a little confused about the letter. Had you known Taggart before? I never laid eyes on him till I came to Red Rock. I figured he'd slip up someplace. The letter did the trick. When I captured him, he told me enough to keep him in jail for three life terms. Well, I, uh, I fixed up an old trap for you, Miss Mary, like uh, Buffalo Bill and I used to use. And if anybody gets a snooping around here, that'll be the end of them. Where'd you set it? Well, come on, I'll show you. Hey, you, you, you see that loop? Well, it's tied off to a little sapling back here that got pulled way back like a slingshot. And if some hubby steps into that, he, he goes into the air. I don't follow you, Fuzzy. What do you mean? Well, uh, for example, uh, supposing some bandit comes riding in on his pony and he's looking for the house. Well, he sees the house and he gets off his pony and he starts to sneak. He, uh... Hey, wait a minute. I'll show you. Well, he gets off his pony and he starts to sneak. And he's sneaking up on that house. And he's sneaking and he's sneaking and he's sneaking. And all of a sudden, he steps into the trap like this, you see? <laughs> oh, oh. Why, don't, why don't you send for Buffalo Bill? Maybe he can help you. <laughs> 